The last bit that I want to touch up on, okay, is uh, landings, all right, because obviously we are seeing now a slight pattern, all right, on a particular type of injury, all right, and that injury is the student coccyx. So what does that tell us? Anyone? It is it's in the ground first. Well done, John. Yeah, so he said the student's buttocks, all right, is making contact with the ground first, and that is what's happening, okay? So what we'd like to look is just quickly review a couple of scenarios here. Now, this is actually an incident that took place, I can't remember if it was either 2017 or 2018. Now, if you look at that landing position, what, what can, what's wrong with that? Anyone? Okay, one at a time. Anybody wish to volunteer? Students' legs are apart. Students' legs are apart. Anything else? No. Okay, one at a time, please. Legs are not bending, legs are bending. Okay, yeah. The student's legs are lower than the time. So the student is below or lower than the actual instructor. Yes, I will agree. The position of, of both the student's legs and the instructor's legs is not the right position. All right. Now, what happened here? They arrived, okay, the position of the instructor's hands did not really change at all, yeah, which indicates that they did not complete the flare, all right, and as they are landed, especially in the, in the, in the position of the student's legs, the student actually did the splits, all right, and they ended up rolling over, all right, student ended up with a, I believe it was a back injury from that, all right. So again, we just want to try and emphasize a couple of things, all right? How do we ensure that people can lift their legs for landing? Anyone? Hanging harnesses, yeah? Now, there's probably a number of drop zones that still do not have a hanging harnesses. One of the things that Tony and I do every year as we go around doing our audits, okay, is we is we really emphasize the fact that we want to be seeing those suspended harnesses because it's the most realistic way of being able to assess them once they're harnessed up and hanging whether they can actually physically lift their legs up all right and there is a number of jobs that they're not using that okay however they're using other systems okay so we are still trying to encourage that so if you haven't got one there on your on your job zone then maybe perhaps you want to speak to your chief instructor or the operator all right and let's encourage and come up with a system that we can make a good better assessment of students being able to lift their land, uh, legs for landing okay now this particular one here this is not from an incident however i did find this uh, picture on the internet okay and the reason why i picked it up all right, is because looking at that there, again, do we see the student is lower than the instructor? Yeah. Yep, okay. So if we look at the position of the student's hands, for example, all right, now this, this uh, the person on the front is a slightly older person as well, all right, maybe perhaps they shouldn't be holding on to the, to, to the, to the harness itself, or maybe putting either their legs underneath their, uh, sorry, their hands underneath their legs, maybe to try and assist to get those legs higher. Why? Because the student is making contact on the ground before the instructor. All right? Now, in this particular case, I'm sure there was no incident here, all right, because it wasn't reported. All right? However, it just shows that this is one of the mistakes that we're getting. So there's a combination of things here. Possibly it's poor harness adjustment. So if the harness is not adjusted correctly, there's more of a chance for the student to sink into that harness. Okay? Okay, now this is from an injury that occurred in 2019. All right? Now, what I've done is I've taken a number of slides, okay, and bit by bit we will see how the actual pair make contact with the ground. All right? So if we look at that there straight away, what can we see? What's not right from that picture that we should be seeing? Anyone? Sorry, speak up. Feet should be higher up. Okay, so, all right. Now, w would we agree that the student's actually doing an effort to keep their, their legs high? Yeah. I would agree. But where does the problem lie? It appears to be incredibly loose. It's hard to say whether the harness is loose, okay? But there's, there's two things there. It could be harness adjustment, or it could be the size of the student in comparison to the size of the instructor. Okay? Now, who's going to make contact with the ground first? Yep. Now, let's say 
In this, I mean, this is a, a, an injury, and you're going to see the type of injury very shortly. Okay. But let's say if the, if the student had the legs out further, all right. And in this particular case, when I'm going back to the injuries that we're seeing now, which is the coccyx injuries, all right. The instructors, all right. We're seeing some of the instructors bring their legs up at the same time, all right. And again, if the student, if there's a prominent um, the student's area here is below, even if the instructor places his, ha his, his, his heels before the student does and goes in for a slide up landing, the first point of contact from the student will be their buttocks anyway. All right, and those are the injuries that we're seeing now, okay, the coccyx injuries. All right, so again, harness adjustment is crucial. All right, and again, going back to should we be taking people perhaps that are taller than us? All right, so this is all the sort of things that we want to be thinking about. All right, let's look at the next frame. Okay, and see what happens on contact. Yeah, so student definitely makes contact with the ground first. Yep. All right. Anything changed? Not really. Okay. If you look at the position of the instructor's hands, the instructor's hands have not moved. All right. So what isn't he doing? He's not completing the flare. And the, by completing the flare, you're giving yourself the best chance, all right, to create the lift for that canopy, all right, to have a better tandem landing. All right, if we're not completing the flares, we're not doing our job as instructors. Simple. Okay, both students' feet are now on the ground. Let's look at the next one. I want you to pay attention to the student's left foot. Okay? Here. Okay? Gone underneath now. All right. Instructors now getting some contact with the ground. All right. And it is, it's almost like we're going to try to slide it in. All right. But in this occasion, it's not going to work. Okay. So now we see his left ankle is gone in underneath. And now this bit there is the student's heel. All right. So it's snapped and gone inside. Okay, so I just wanted to bring the or, or bring the point. Okay, that we've got to be making sure, and one of the easiest ways to simplify this is this is what needs to happen every time. Yep, that's our job, isn't it? Okay. Anybody got any questions? Yes, Hank. Um, and now we're looking this at pictures. Yes, John. We're looking at pictures, but it looks like the landing technique could have some improvement. I, I, I would not disagree with that at all. Okay. So again, it's, you know, and also the, the types of parachute might have a relevance to it. There's all different small contributing factors there. Okay. Anybody got any questions? No. Okay, guys, um, that's all I have. All right, um, ho hopefully you've enjoyed uh, some of the talks that you've seen today. I thank you for being here, taking the time out of your busy schedules to, to come here year after year for, for some of you. All right, we're seeing the same old faces, which is great. Some new faces like Hans Donner, well done. Okay, um, but yeah, thank, thank you very much for being here, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. All right, one thing I will say, uh, I did make a very small mistake. I forgot to print off some validation forms, all right, to try and get some feedback back from you, okay? What we will do, all right, is we will send you an email with a link, okay, that you can click on. That'll take you to the form. I'll be grateful if you can um, fill in the form and get it back to us, okay, with your feedback on how the, the day went, all right? And um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, we will be back next year. Thank you very much.